Hello, my name is uh, Vinod Philip, and I'm a member of the executive board of Siemens Energy. And I'm here to tell my story as part of Mindshare's partners' Leaders Go First campaign. Over the years, mental health awareness has become a topic that is near and dear to my heart. But that wasn't the case growing up. When I grew up in India, mental health was seen as something that was taboo, something that was not to be discussed. And that has changed a lot for me. And I'm here today in front of all of you to share my story because a year and a half ago, I lost a very close friend of mine who died by suicide. And the thing that made me feel really bad about this whole thing was I missed the signs before this event. He talked to me a couple of times. He was expressing a lot of frustration. He was expressing, expressing a lot of anger. And I was, at that point in time, not really listening to him. I was looking at it more from the perspective of, of how I could solve a problem rather than how I could empathize with a person. And it really made me feel terrible afterwards, recognizing that I might have been able to do something about the situation. And following his uh, death by suicide, I went into a bit of a depression. I was feeling a lot of guilt, and I was feeling a lot of grief about what happened. And it was at that point in time, a few other friends reached out to me and did nothing but just make me feel heard. And by just sharing their time and space with me, I realized that I was not alone. And while we might all feel at different points in our life that the things we are facing are so unique to us, what was amazing to me was to realize that others are also going through similar things. And by just having that open sharing of emotions and feelings and situations, you can connect with each other. So this is what I've learned. What I've learned is that step one is to really listen. Step two is to really empathize. And then step three is to make the person feel not alone. And after that, I think you're able to work with that person, including yourself, through the situation. This is what I try to do with my team. I can tell you that it is not something that came naturally to me because I'm a very left-brained individual. I look at things analytically and rationally. But over the course of time, this has gotten easier because I've started to see the power of empathy, the power of emotional connectedness. I was also very happy because my company, Siemens Energy, launched its own mental health awareness campaign last October, where all our leaders and employees across the company shared their stories, shared their mental health stories. Stories of struggles, stories of how they got through the hard times. And we did this so that we could raise awareness of mental health and to make sure that everyone knows it is safe to speak up when you need to. It is a topic that is not taboo. It is a topic that has to be demystified because the sad part is, or the serious part is, it is quickly becoming the next global pandemic and we have to do something about this. So I would like to encourage all of you out there to share your own stories and live by the rules of empathy, of kindness, of connection. And I truly believe that if we can do this every day with people around us, we will all be able to help change the world we live in for the better.